Okay, um, I make a lot of videos. Most of my videos revolve around Donald Trump. And what I want to say about Trump tonight is something that a lot of people don't want to hear, but they better start paying attention to and, and, and better start thinking in these terms. And, and the terms that you better start thinking in is Donald Trump is not going to stop. He's not going to all of a sudden become presidential. He's not going to all of a sudden stop putting people down. He's not going to all of a sudden stop making up altered realities, which he does all the time. He's not going to all of a sudden start being sane instead of insane. Donald Trump is not going to give up. These people that thought that he was going to all of a sudden be presidential after the campaign, that all oh, this was just all pomp and, uh, and, and, and uh, arrogance for the campaign. But as soon as Donald Trump gets to be president, he'll be a good guy. He'll be a normal guy. He'll relax and he'll be, uh, now that he'll be the president, he'll act normal. No, no, he's acted absolutely not normal. In fact, to the point that a lot of people think the guy's downright insane. A lot of people smarter than I think the guy is insane. Psychologists, psychiatrists, a lot of people think this guy's absolutely loony. And I, I happen to believe that too, because of the way he acts, because of the things he says, because of the mindless things he does to cause trouble. Um, he ruins everybody around him. I mean, for instance, this Kelly guy. I mean, he's a four-star general. He's probably had a good reputation, a good, a, a, you know, a good career. He gets around Donald Trump, and what happens? Within the first couple of months, his reputation is ruined based on his, uh, his being around Trump. So Trump corrupts everybody around him. And I actually think there's something going on with, with Trump that's beyond just somebody wanting to control or dictate over everything. Everything. He wants to control, dictate over everything. Um, I almost think it's a spiritual thing with, with Donald Trump. He's got endless energy. And I also think there's some spiritual you know, evilness going on with this guy. And I'm going to tell you that he's not going to quit. He's not going to relent. He's not going to give up. People that think that he's a one-and-done president, no, he's not. He is not a one-and-done president. He is a two-term president, and after the second term, he's going to change the law and try to get run again. I mean, he'll be still in his 70s, I believe, for a third term. And and look at Jimmy Carter and look at the, uh, the you know, uh, uh, the older Bush, they're 93 or 94 years old. Trump could be in his late 80s still running the United States of America if you let him. He will change the laws. He will change the rules of the game. He is about domination, control, and he's about being a bully and completely taking over everything. He doesn't like the Congress. He doesn't like the Senate. He doesn't like the Republicans. He doesn't like the Democrats. He doesn't like the press. He doesn't like anybody. The only person he likes is himself. And in the process of, of him liking himself, He's going to destroy everything else in this country. So all you're going to do is you're going to see Donald Trump, and he's going to be a complete dictator. And if you think that can't happen, look at the rest of the world. Most of the rest of the world lives under dictatorship. And that's what Trump wants to make out of the United States of America. And unless people want to stand up to the sky and the base wants to wake up to the reality of who Donald Trump is, he's not just the, the, you know, the lesser of two evils. He's actually a wicked person, an act, actually an evil destructive person. Everybody in unison says, this guy creates havoc. This guy creates problems. This guy creates dissension. You know, look at the NFL and look at all the problems and all the shit talk and all the other things he's done. He doesn't legislate. He doesn't, he doesn't, uh, he's not a thinker. He's not somebody that comes up with solutions. He comes up with divisive, um, plans destructive things and he wants to destroy everything and take over and that's what he's doing he's going to destroy everything and take over so if you think trump is just this good old boy that uh you know is a bu businessman that's going to operate the business the country like a business fucking wake up fucking wake up look at this guy and look at what he's doing and look how he's not going to change he never will change it's, it, he, he is who he is he's a destructive human being that wants to take over and control everything and he isn't going to quit. And he isn't going to stop. The only way he's going to stop is if he's removed from office. That's it. That's the only way he's going to stop. He's not going to stop any other way. There's no other way. He's going to have to be removed by the 25th Amendment or some form of impeachment. And the guy is immune to a lot of stuff. And look, at he's got the RNC, the Republican National Committee, paying for his legal expenses. He's got a lot of power as far as being president, as far as immunity is concerned. He is going to be hard to stop, hard to stop. It's going to take a concerted effort by a lot of people, and the people of America are starting to realize this guy is a fucking basket case, and he's a nut, and he's destructive. And a lot of people just think, well, this guy is just going to go away, and, you know, he's, you know, he's, he's all over, he's going to start acting right or something like that. Bullshit. 
bullshit. You got to see Donald Trump for who, what he is or who he is. He's a very narcissistic, destructive person. And those people don't go away on their own. Those people have to be stopped by some outside force. And like I say, you've got to do it. And I think there's, you know, and the thing about the 25th Amendment is you've got to do it by people that are in his cabinet. And he controls the people in his cabinet. He dictates to those people. He puts those people in fear of their jobs. He puts people in fear of everything. So he, he's somebody around that if you're not, you know, and it's like he commands total loyalty. Like he did with Comey. You know, if you don't give me total loyalty, I'm going to get rid of you. And he is not shy about saying that. So now you got people in the cabinet that almost have to go against this guy and come out against him. And, and, and it's hard to do because he is so controlling and so dominant. And right now people are scared of him because of the fact he is in a powerful position. And he has a lot of power within that position. So they're afraid to, they're, they're afraid to, uh, to stand up to Donald Trump. We better, uh, we better all wake up in America and see what's really happening. Donald Trump is not the lesser of two evils. Donald Trump is the evil. So anyway, I appreciate you watching. Thank you very much.